652 time for the morning sprint. There's now a confirmed case of West Nile virus in Wisconsin. The Department of Health Services says it's out of Sheboygan County. The virus spreads through mosquito bites. DHS says while mosquito activity is dropping because it's getting cooler out, there is still a chance of catching the virus until the first hard frost of the season. The committee investigating the January 6th insurrection wants to talk with the simply speaker Robin Boss. Boss filing a lawsuit, though, after receiving the subpoena on Saturday to delay the deposition. The committee wants to know more about a phone call between him and former President Donald Trump earlier this year, in which the former president urged Boss to do more to decertify the 2020 presidential election results in Wisconsin, something the speaker has repeatedly said is not possible. Looking ahead, the committee will hold its next public hearing on Wednesday. It's expected to be the final public hearing. We still don't know what specific topic it will focus on, but the committee is up against the clock. It wants to finish its investigation before the midterm elections. NASA not taking any chances chances with Hurricane Ian, the agency announcing that it's moving its massive moon rocket for the Artemis 1 mission back into the garage at the Kennedy Space Center. The move delays the next launch attempt for at least a few weeks. A government shutdown just days away now if Congress can't pass a short-term spending measure. Lawmakers have less than a week to reach an agreement on the stopgap funding bill that would keep the federal government humming until after the midterm elections. CNN is reporting this morning the Democrats do have a bill to keep federal agencies funded through mid-December. Report, Republicans reportedly have a problem with its inclusion of Senator Manchin's energy deal. The deadline is midnight Friday. Starting October 1st, Canada will get rid of their pandemic-related border restrictions. They've been in place for two and a half years now. That includes testing, quarantine, and isolation requirements for people entering the country. Vice President Kamala Harris will attend the funeral for former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe today. Protesters are gathering in Japan's capital, meanwhile, to rally against the state funeral. Demonstrators say it's an exorbitant use of public funds. It is expected to cost taxpayers some 12 million U.S. dollars. Target looking to hire up to 100,000 people to help out during the holidays. In addition, the company is also going to have a Deal Days event October 6th through the 8th. That will feature thousands of deals. The company also says it plans to extend its popular holiday price match guarantee this year. There might soon be a new tool to fight COVID-19 in kids. Pfizer is announcing they finished their submission to the FDA for emergency use authorization. The request is for an updated booster shot for 5 to 11 year olds. This shot focuses on strains that were part of the original vaccine plus those new virants. Mental health issues can speed up the aging process. That's according to American and Chinese scientists who found that psychological factors like loneliness or being unhappy added more than one and a half years to biological age and accelerated aging more than smoking. Yeah, and so we got to get your one look at the bus stop. We're still looking at chilly conditions this morning, only 42, 43. We'll get up to about the low 50s, mid 50s with a few clouds out there, but not much of the way of wind, which is better than what we had yesterday. But still breezy, but chilly to get as you go throughout the day. Temperature trend, we're looking good as we get towards the weekend. We'll get back up to average. And even the better news with all this is it looks to be dry. Don't look to see any type of precipitation. Maybe the next system could be by next Tuesday. We'll look at that. All right, Greg, thank you very much. A reminder, folks, a crash outside Belleville is causing some backups on Highway 69 at the intersection with County A. Police are flagging folks through one lane in both directions. So if that's part of your morning commute, give yourself a little extra time this morning. We'll have an update on that and more headlines coming up in a half an hour.